Let's uh, start, though, with a career, a guy who built a career on a blue-collar, down-to-earth image. But a potentially messy divorce just finalized is painting a somewhat different picture of filmmaker and liberal activist Michael Moore. Here's NBC's Gabe Gutierrez. Deep in northern Michigan, this lakefront mansion is the talk of the town. The way he lives is not how the common man lives. I think he's earned it. It belongs to one of the state's most well-known celebrities. Not Eminem or Kid Rock. No, this $2 million home on Torch Lake is owned by filmmaker Michael Moore and his wife of 22 years, Kathleen Glynn. I am disappointed in what appears to me to be a conflict in his values and what he represents. But now the pair just settled a high-profile divorce. In court filings, Moore had blamed his wife for going overboard and expanding the 10,000-square-foot house, reportedly in the same neighborhood as Madonna and Bruce Willis. Hi, I'm Michael Moore. Ever since his 1989 documentary, Roger and Me. Do you think it's a little dangerous handing out guns in a bank? In other films, like Bowling for Columbine and Fahrenheit 9-11, Moore had built a blue-collar, anti-capitalist image. I am one person. Uh, this is a, a movement of millions of voices. Thanks. Slamming the 1% at this Occupy Wall Street protest. The new court documents reveal Moore and his now ex-wife shared properties in Michigan and New York. The Detroit News reports the couple owned nine total. No comment from her lawyer. And Moore's attorney would only say the couple has mutually and amicably reached a divorce settlement. Very smart for Michael Moore to settle this matter. Even if he could have gotten more money, it's so important to his public image that he not be bickering with his wife of 20 years and having all of that dirty laundry exposed. Already exposed, what some in the small Michigan town feel is a contradiction between Moore's common man persona and his uncommon wealth. For today, Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News. All right, let's get a check of the weather now from Mr. Roker.